What's up guys, I'm Mokobat, Software Knowledge Solutions, and today we talk about Call of Duty Black Ops 6, Modern Warfare 3, and Warzone crashing to the desktop without giving you a notification why it's crashing, or you're getting a DirectX error, a black screen error, or your game just does not work. Now, I know a lot of people are playing this either through Battle.net, or they are playing this through Steam. Now, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is for all users out there, it doesn't matter what platform you're using, you can even be using the Xbox version as well, the Game Pass. Now, I can fix this for you and I'm going to show you the settings and things that you can do to make this game work. And if none of these settings work for you through the Battle.net version or the Steam version, you can just go ahead and email me right here at the top here. And I do charge a service fee, ladies and gentlemen, bear in mind, I do charge a service fee because it takes a lot of time and dedication. Actually, you sending me an email, then me adding you to my Discord channel and then basically going through your entire machine and find out what's the reason why this game is crashing and actually fixing it for you now out of basically almost 3,000 clients so far i have fixed this game for every single one of them and this game runs perfectly fine after i have done the personalized settings for them myself and fixing the game myself for them i do charge a service fee ladies and gentlemen just bear that in mind all right, ladies and gentlemen, so the first one will be the Battle.net version and how to fix the Battle.net version if you're playing this through Battle.net. And I'll also show you how to fix this through Steam. And I'll have a timestamp down below if you want to skip through to the Steam version if you're playing this through Steam. Because I know you don't want to watch the entire Battle.net version if you are playing this through Steam and you want to get to the point and you want to get to the results and everything. So this is the Battle.net version. I'm going to go over it first. Okay, so you're going to come to this little gear icon over here at the bottom where it says options and you're going to come over here and you're going to go to scan and repair. Now this can repair your game files if you have corrupt files in your game. You can actually have corrupt files happening in Call of Duty Black Ops 6, in Modern Warfare 3 or in Warzone and it can automatically scan and repair your game files for you and it can fix it for you. Now in most case scenarios it's actually where you click the scan and repair it absolutely does absolutely fucking nothing it really does nothing and it doesn't even fucking work so just take this with a grain of salt that this might help some users and it might not help some users now something i also want to point out is this ladies and gentlemen if none of these options work for you don't blame me blame the developers that made this fucking stupid ass fucking game that is corrupt and doesn't want to work on your computer please don't blame me i'm trying to help you as best i can okay all right so you can go to scan and repair this could fix your issue if it doesn't fix your issue you're going to go to check for updates all right you're going to click on the check for updates and it will do this it will say checking for updates on battle.net and it will see if you have the latest drivers if you have the latest updates for call of duty and if you have the latest things for call of duty in general when it comes to call of duty call of duty does updates on a regular basis and everyone knows this so just bear this in mind now ladies and gentlemen the next step that you're going to need to do is come to this little gear icon again you're going to come to show an explorer now once this is open it will look like this now, as you can see, I have my Call of Duty called Call of Duty New Update Fucked Up Game. That's what I called my folder because this game is completely fucked. And I'm also getting frustrated about this game crashing to the desktop without giving like any notifications or saying a direct error is giving bullshit in general. I called it that folder. That's why I renamed that folder. Yours might be called Call of Duty HQ or it might be just be called Call of Duty. Just bear in mind that yours will not be the same as mine that I renamed named it as okay so what you're going to do is you're going to come to this one over here this also might be a completely different name for you but all you're going to need to do is take your mouse and put it over here and click over here and go to the folder where it says call of duty for you then you're going to come inside here right click on it say rename and you're just going to rename this entire folder now i'm going to rename it to the new one which is this over here so call of duty bo6 uh, Modern Warfare 3, and I'm going to say Ansible Warzone, just like that, and I'm going to click like this. Right, now, once you're done doing that, you can just fuck out of this like that, and you're going to come back to Battle.net like this. Now, if Battle.net doesn't realize that you renamed that folder, it might realize it immediately, and it's going to say install, or it's going to say locate the game over here. Now, if it doesn't do that, and you could just wait, sometimes you could just wait, and then boom, like that, it will come up to say install or locate the game. Now, if it doesn't do that, and it takes a very long time for you to realize that it's saying install or locate the game, you could just go to Battle.net over here and say exit, 
and then relaunch your Battle.net itself and then come in here and then it's going to say install or locate the game. All right, from here, you're going to click on locate the game and then from here, you're going to go to the drive where your game is installed and you're going to click on the folder that you just renamed to whatever the fuck you named it. You can call it Call of Duty, Warzone, Black Ops 6, whatever games you have. If you just have Warzone, just call it Warzone. If you have Modern Warfare 3, call it Warzone and Modern Warfare 3. If you have Black Ops 6 included, that's three games. That's Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, Warzone and Black Ops 6. That's what I went to go ahead and do and you just click once on it. Please do not double click on this. It will not work. You just go one back, click once on this folder so it's highlighted and say select folder. Then it will do this over here. Ladies and gentlemen, just give it some time. Give it some time, ladies and gentlemen. Battle.net is completely fucked as well. I know this. Just bear in mind with this Call of Duty situation and Activision themselves, since they smoke a lot of crack and they don't know what they're doing with their games, it will do this updating, initializing, and then it will say play and it will make your game work. If this works for you, ladies and gentlemen, smash the motherfucking like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new year. This is one way of fixing this game for Battle.net. And then I know that this actually works because I actually done a few videos on this and it actually worked for a bunch of people i'm hoping that this works for you now ladies and gentlemen if this doesn't work yet again i'm going to say it again don't blame me call of duty's developers should be fixing this game not fucking me okay but i'm trying my best to help the call of duty community as best i fucking can okay it's getting frustrated and you can hear it in my voice all right so awesome that's what you need to do and this could be a fix for you ladies and gentlemen another fix could be is this over here and i'm going to go ahead and show you you're going to minimize out of battle.net and be on your desktop you're going to come to the search button over here and type in cmd and then right click on the command prompt and say run as administrator do not double click right click and say run as administrator it's going to ask you yes or no you're going to say yes to that command prompt and then it's going to say c windows system 32 once it looks like this and it says c windows system 32 you're going to type in sfc spacebar forward slash scan now one word like this and press enter ladies and gentlemen once you press enter it's going to say beginning system scan what this will do is it will find out if you have corrupt files in your game and this will automatically fix it for you and this could also be a fix for the battle.net version please go ahead and try this out this could be a way of fixing your game for you now I'm going to let this run while I show you the rest of the things that you can try ahead and go ahead and do to fix this game as well. So I'm going to open up my Battle.net again and here's my game and I'm just going to let that run in the background. So I can show you guys that that runs to 100% because a lot of people do want to see that that actually runs to 100% because I don't normally show it. All right. So let that run to 100%. Another way of fixing this if that doesn't work and you leave it till it gets to 100% and nothing is broken and Windows is saying that everything's perfectly fine, then it means that your Windows is fine and everything is fine on your drives and everything's okay then you're going to come back to battle.net like this and you're going to go to this little gear icon go to show an explorer and then yet again ladies and gentlemen it will say this pc it will say the drive that it's on then it will say the folder and the folder that you named it all right you're going to come inside here in this folder click anywhere and press c on your keyboard so call of duty comes up and you'll see that it now looks like a black ops 6 logo and you're going to right click on it and say properties and you're going to go to compatibility mode. You're going to come inside here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you are only one user on your desktop and you're not multiple users, maybe you and, I don't know, your brother or sister or family members are using this computer, you might have multiple accounts. If you have multiple Windows accounts, you're going to have to go to change settings for all users because you have multiple users on that account. If you don't and you only are one user on this computer that you're currently using and watching this video from, you're just going to go to disable full screen optimization optimization run this program in administrator and then say apply once you apply this you can click ok and you can fuck out of this and you can click on the play button try and go ahead and see if that works if it doesn't work and you launch and your game still crashes then go to battle.net itself exit out of it relaunch battle.net it will come up like this again and click on the play button if that still doesn't work ladies and gentlemen then i highly recommend that you go ahead and email me because then it could be a hardware issue it could be multiple reasons why your game is not working at all okay
All right, from here, you're just going to minimize out of this, and then it will say this over here. Ladies and gentlemen, it will say Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations, meaning that Windows is running perfectly fine. Your game settings and everything is not corrupted. Nothing's corrupted on Battle.net, okay? Meaning that everything's okay, but there's still an issue, and your game still doesn't want to work, then I highly recommend going ahead and email me so I can sort this out myself for you. And bear in mind, like I said, I do charge a service fee. Now, yours might say this, or it might say that Windows found corrupt files and has automatically fixed it for you. If it's done that and it says that automatically fixed files for you, please do this again. Type it again. Type SFC spacebar forward slash scan now one word just like this and press enter again. Once you press enter again, it needs to say this over here. Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. Once it's done that, it means that everything's okay on your Windows and on every single drive of your computer. You should be fine. If your game still doesn't work, ladies and gentlemen, please go ahead and email me. All right, let's jump straight into the Steam version. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in the Steam version right now, and I'm going to show you how to fix it for the Steam version. You're going to just right-click on Call of Duty itself, go to Properties like this, and then it's going to look like this. Okay, now something that's very, very important is this one over here. Enable the Steam overlay while in-game. This could be a reason why your game is crashing as well, so you can just go ahead and turn it off, okay? I do know that you can't press shift tab to type a Steam message to someone, but then just go ahead and press the Windows key and then go to Steam and then send them a message if you want to go ahead and do that. This could be a reason why your game is not working, also why it's crashing to the desktop and giving you a direct error. This is a reason why, okay? This enable overlay, okay? Please go ahead and just disable it. Now, if this isn't a problem, the overlay itself, you're going to come here where it says installed files and you're going to click on verify integrity of game files. You're going to click on this just once like this and then it will verify the integrity of the game files and see what is corrupted yet again. If you have corrupt files, if you have anything missing in Call of Duty, if something's missing in Call of Duty, if any single file is missing in COD, it will automatically start downloading it for you once this hits 100%. Now, once this hits 100%, it will also tell you that all files successfully has been validated or it might say that you have three files up to 1000 files missing or corrupted or fucking broken now welcome to call of duty ladies and gentlemen welcome to Activision, the crack smoking company that doesn't know what the fuck they're doing with their own game welcome to it i'm just here to help as best i can don't blame me if this game doesn't work on your pc blame Activision. I'm here to help as best as I can, and this is what I do for a living, is make FPS boost guide videos, make this game run perfectly fine for people, and also fix this game for people. That's what I do, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I do for a living when it comes to Call of Duty. Okay, so I'm just going to let this run, ladies and gentlemen, please bear in mind, I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to try and make this video too long, but I want you guys to see what happens with this over here. So I'm just going to give it some time, let it run, okay? The next step we're going to need to do is this, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do is we're going to go into the browse folder, but I'm just going to wait for this to finish, and I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do inside here, how to get this up and running perfectly fine, so you can have your game running perfectly fine without any issues, all right? There we go. So now it's verifying integrity of game files, and there we go. All 707 files has successfully been validated. So it has not found any corrupt files. Everything is perfectly fine on my card. Steam is, has no issues with my game. But yet again, it still fucking crashes, meaning that there's still a problem happening with your computer. Okay, now you're going to click on the browse and you're going to come inside here. Now, yet again, it will tell you where your game is installed. Now, the Steam version of mine is installed on my online games to SSD. My Battle.net version is installed over there. Right, so bear in mind where your game is installed for Steam or Battle.net. If they're all on the same drive, you are good to go. You are perfectly fine. All right. So it will be Steam install, Steam apps, Common, and Call of Duty HQ. All right. It's been called Call of Duty HQ since it's been released for Steam. Okay. Now, you're going to go to Common. You're going to come to Call of Duty HQ like this and see how big it is. Okay. Yours might be bigger than mine. It might be smaller than mine or whatever the case might be. It doesn't matter. Right from here, ladies and gentlemen, you're just going to make a new folder. Just right click anywhere and then go to new, go to new folder and make a new folder called Call of Duty HQ New. Just do that so you can have it like this so that it lays right under the other one so this is where your game is installed go into it click on the top one or anything inside here you can click on anything 
Control and A to highlight everything, right click on it and say cut, go one back, go to the new folder you just created and say paste and move the entire game into this new folder. Once you're done doing that, go back and then there will be an HQ folder now that is completely empty. Now you can just right click and then delete it and it will be deleted. Then you'll have a folder called Call of Duty HQ New and that's where you moved your game to now. Now you can just fuck out of this and then just close out of this as well. It will still say play because Steam does not realize that you just went to go ahead and change stuff in the common folder where your games gets installed to. So it doesn't know that you moved it. So you can just right click here and go to manage and click on uninstall and say uninstall. Now don't worry, you did not uninstall the game because you moved it into a brand new folder. Now what you're going to need to do is click on install, go to the same drive that you have it on and say install. And once it says starting download, just wait for it. It's going to say starting download. And once it starts downloading, pause it immediately because you do not need to re-download this entire fucking game because I've done it multiple times and that's not a fix. Okay, so you do not need to download this game every fucking time to see if it's going to work because it won't. Okay, now, since it's downloading, right, and it's downloading a new folder, you can right click now, go to properties, go to installed files, go to browse. You will now see at the top here, it says Call of Duty HQ, go to common, and now it made you a brand new Call of Duty HQ folder. Okay, as you can see here. Brand new HQ folder, and that's what you want. And you also want it to be empty because you want to move these files that's in this folder here, the new one you created, back into that one. But before you do that, ladies and gentlemen, before you do that, don't jump the gun. Go out of this, go out of this, and you're going to right click, go to manage, and click uninstall, and say uninstall. Okay, now it made that new folder for you. Now you can go ahead and find it. It's very easy to find. You just go here. Go to the go to the drive where it's installed. Mine's over here, and then I go to my Steam install. I go to Steam apps. Go to Common, and then I have Call of Duty over here. And there's the HQ folder I just created, which is brand new right now. And then the folder that you created with the game inside of it. You're just gonna click on anything inside here, literally anything. Press Control and A, highlight everything, right click on it, and say Cut, and go back. And then go to the HQ folder that's been created that's brand new, that has nothing in it, that Call of Duty has realized that you installed a brand new version of COD, paste it inside you. Once it's been pasted, give it some time. It takes some time. If you maybe have a slower drive, it will have a little green block showing you that it's moving, depending on how slow your drive is. I have a really fast drive, so it will do it really quickly. And it's also not quite big. If yours is bigger, it will take longer. Right, now, the folder that says HQ new, you can go ahead and delete. Just delete it. It will be gone. Then fuck out of this and you're going to open up your steam again and it will say install now you click on install have the same drive say install and now it will not download the game it will verify the game's files that you just moved back into the folder so you can just go here and go to downloads and then see what it does it will now validate those files and see if the files are corrupted and if there's anything missing it will automatically start downloading it for you and patch your game for you and it would work. If that doesn't work, ladies and gentlemen, for the Steam version either, yet again, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, you can just go ahead and email me right here at the top here. Just go ahead and email me and I can sort this out myself. And yet again, like I said, I do charge a service for you, ladies and gentlemen. I don't do this shit for free, okay? Please just bear that in mind because it takes time dedication and the last client I actually worked with it took me eight hours fixing his fucking computer but I literally sat with him for eight hours and got his game up and working so ladies and gentlemen yes go and email me if this isn't working for you at all if none of these methods work for you then please go ahead and email me and I can sort you out myself now I'm going to go back to the steam over here and just show you it's going to say validating and now it's at 83 percent I just want to show you guys this I don't want to skip this I want you to see this so it's a 91%. I'm just going to go over this and let you guys see that it goes all the way straight through to the end and what it does. Okay, 99%, 100%, and now I can actually say the play button. So I press clear all, I go to home, and I go to Call of Duty, and I click on play, and I just go to the yes button because I'm running as administrator, and now my game will launch. As always, ladies and gentlemen, hope this helped you, and if it did, smash the like button, leave a comment down below. If it didn't, go ahead and email me, and I'll sort you out from there. As always, Peace.